Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is learn just enough SQL to get you the job. No matter where your current job is or the future job you want to hold, if it's in a tech field or analysis field and you're dealing with large amounts of data, you must learn SQL or SQL. But what is SQL besides another buzzword in the tech field? This video will talk about what is SQL or SQL, how to create data, how to view data, how to update data, and how to delete data. So first, what is SQL or SQL? SQL is an acronym for a Structured Query Language. It's pronounced either SQL or SQL, whichever you prefer. SQL is a way for us to communicate with the database and is a standard for relational database management systems. Some of the common relational database management systems that use SQL include Microsoft SQL Server, Access, and Oracle. But your next question is, what is a database? I know you're thinking that. Think of a database as a holding place for a large amount of data. That information is then categorized into containers called tables. No matter what company you work for, whether it's McDonald's, Delta, Fortune 500, Tesla, no matter what company it is, they have a database to some extent. And they have tables to store information. Because of this, if you personally know how to access this information, you become a valuable resource to your company. Information that a company may be storing inside of a database may be as simple as customer names or as complicated as encrypted customer social security numbers. Anytime we're interacting with the database, we're writing what is called queries, and that is a SQL script. Now this video is gonna be a little interactive, so if you go follow along please, if you're watching on your phone, open up your tablet or a laptop and go to the website listed here. The website will also be listed in the description box below, so you can just click on it and you're gonna follow along. So as I'm talking about it, I want you to actually do the exercises and learn how to write SQL scripts. The full list of scripts that I will be talking about in the video will be in the description box below. So if the video is going too fast for you, you look in the description box and see all the commands. So before we can view anything in a database, we must create a table. To do this, we'll use a simple create command. The create keyword follows the simple syntax shown on the screen now, where you will replace table name with the name of the table, column one with the name of your first column, and data type, the data type you would like to follow for your column. For our example on website, we're gonna use test lead subscribers as your table name, and we added three columns, first name, address, and city. For the data type, we chose var car 255, which means you can have 255 characters for a record for that column in a row. Now that we have created a table, we need to populate it. We'll populate the table using an insert statement. The template for an insert statement is shown now. So now let's talk about what we're inserting. We're gonna insert into the table called test lead subscribers. What columns are we gonna access? The name, address, and city columns for the table. What values are we inputting? John, 222 YouTube Road in New York. Now we have one row in our table. Let's add one more. As you can see, the same syntax for the most part, we're inserting into the test lead subscriber table. The columns are name, address, and city, and the values will be not John, 111 YouTube Road in New York. Now we have two rows in our table. Let's now see how we can view that information. So now that we have information in our database, we must find a way to view it. 
To do so, we're gonna use a select keyword. The select keyword is very complex, but for the basic format, we're gonna use this right here. We will replace column one and column two with whatever columns we'd like to see for our table and replace table name with the name of our desired table. This will return the data for the selected columns. So our first command is gonna be select name from test lead subscribers. So we're selecting column quote name from our table test lead subscribers. This query then returns the different names that we previously inserted into our table. Now I have a little special surprise for you. We're gonna retrieve all information from our table using a special star keyword. So anytime we wanna get all information, we're gonna use a star. So now it's called select star from test lead subscribers. As you can see, it shows all information from the table. Let's say you want to only retrieve certain rows or records from the table. We will then add a where clause to our select statement. So select star from test lead subscribers where name equals John. This will return an entire row where John is the name. If we have multiple rows where John is the name, they will all be returned. There's a lot more you can do with the select command, but for the basic start, this is all we're gonna do. I'll create a separate video later on, going into joins and things like that, where it's very complex in a select statement. But for right now, I don't wanna overwhelm you, I'm gonna stick just with that. So our next topic, changing data. So, so far we created data, we viewed data, now we're gonna change data we previously created. We will do this by using the update keyword. As you can see, this is the template for updating. Replace column one with the column of the information we want to change. And then replace value one with the new value that we want to be saved in our table. And our where condition is how we choose which rows or rows get updated. We will add a condition here to uniquely identify one row. So here's our statement. Update our table test lead subscribers. We're gonna set name to the value of the test lead where before it was John. Now that that's finished, we'll run our select statement again and see if the table updated. So select star from test lead subscribers. Now when we look at our results, we can see that John was replaced with the test lead. See, it's not that difficult. I hope you're not being overwhelmed. We have one last part. So, so far we can add data, view data, and update data. Now let's talk about removing data. There are several different methods to remove data. We'll be talking about first the delete keyword, then a truncate keyword, and then a drop keyword. Each has its own capabilities and power. So first the delete keyword, it deletes specific rows that we identify. The structure of the delete statement is as follows. We will replace table name with our table, and in a where condition, we will find a way to uniquely identify our row. So now let's try this out. We're gonna delete from our table test lead subscribers where the name has a value of not John. Now we run our select statement to see what information is left in our table. So select star from test lead subscribers. We will see that only one row now exists in our table. The previous row where the name was not John was removed. After that, our truncate keyword, it completely empties out the table. So we're gonna truncate a table and all the records inside of it will be gone. As mentioned previously, truncate deletes all the data inside the table, but the table itself will still exist. We will replace table name with our table name. So truncate table test lead subscribers. And finally, the drop keyword is gonna give her the whole table. We have now successfully emptied our table. We'll wrap it up by deleting our table. As I said previously, the drop command gets rid of the entire table and all the information inside of it. We will replace table name with our table. So drop table our table name, test lead subscribers. Now our table no longer exists.
Now let's wrap it up and bring it all together. Today you learned how to create a table, create information to put in a table, then manipulate that information, view that information, and then delete that information. There will be future videos going more in depth with the power of SQL and other querying languages, but for now just stick with this. I hope you didn't get overwhelmed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget, the full command list is in the description box below. And that's it. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.